Hi everybody, it's me, Monica, and welcome to another speed build. So as you can see, we started off this video with some rockabilly music because today we are going to create a 50s inspired American diner and I'm super excited about this. I want to recreate this for such a long time and I finally did it and the reason why I thought now it's the perfect time is because now we have curved walls now I have tool mod and basically I thought that now finally I have all the tools to do this um, I really want to do an American inspired diner for ever i think because uh i'm a pinup model and i love everything 50s and 60s and i don't know now i felt like i'm ready <laughs> you know and i must say that i was quite inspired with las vegas so i went over the top with this build um, I thought that I think that you noticed already that I put a lot of neon lights, a lot of signs, and everything. Um, I honestly don't think that any diners are so over the top, but since I was inspired by Vegas and also diner, I just wanted to do it and. Um, as you can see, this video is super, super long and that's because I lost a lot, a lot of time on this build because I wanted to make it perfect and I needed to place a lot of things with tool to place them properly and basically I definitely lost a lot of time on this. And also I really had issues with the curved walls um, you can only imagine but I made it I made it and this build is fully functional it has a lot of different features inside so it's not just a diner so it's not just a restaurant uh, I added like a disco floor and a, a karaoke and also I included some games upstairs uh, so you can hang out with your friends in here. I just thought that that's totally an American diner vibe and I just went for it. I went fully on for it and I'm really hoping that you like this music you guys because I'm super super happy that I can finally put music like that because I usually really like rock and roll, rockabilly, swing and blues and all of the uh, like 50s uh, music. So yeah, this is definitely a different video today. Uh, by the way you guys just I need to mention it but I came to 20k subscribers oh my god <laughs> I'm so excited and I just wanted to thank you all so so much uh, this is such a huge dream to me like 20k is amazing in like year and a half a little bit more maybe I don't know I just don't know why do you like me so much <laughs> But I'm really really hoping that my builds are making you happy because they're definitely make me happy and Also, I wanted to say that I'm getting a lot of messages About custom content links and everything so I'm going to make a post on my tumblr with all of the CC creators that I'm using so just download everything that you would need and you're going to have all of my builds uh, fully furnished and I think that's totally totally okay and um, yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that you are going to be happier then because all of the CC lists that I'm making they're always 
the same mostly because I'm using the same uh, creators all over and over again. And as you can see, I used Breeze Motors. Uh, this is the first time that I download his custom content. And I'm just madly in love with these retro cars and I'm going to continue using them because they're just adding to this exterior so much. Um, you know guys that we don't have really cars in this game and we have a few of them and they look quite bad. Um, I may be using one or two. So I really thought it's about time for me to download like Breeze Motors amazing cars. So thank you so much for him. I, I'm very, very grateful to have this in my game and I'm super excited to use them more. Except from Breeze Motors, uh, all of the other custom content that I used in this one is available for free. So the complete interior and exterior, everything is going to be linked and I, don't, I didn't use much custom content, to be quite honest. I used these beautiful uh, windows from Harry Spoon Collection and also I used a few creators that I never used before uh, on this channel. So I used one pack from Around the Sims 4. Uh, I used some custom content from Linslu. I use usually Linslu. I think you already know that. But I haven't used this particular set. And also I download some custom content from uh, Surely Sims and I never downloaded anything from Shirley Sims. Uh, it's new creator to me and I'm super excited to use it for the first time because she's making um, a lot of 50s, 60s, 70s inspired furniture and that's not something that I use every day, you know. So I was very, very excited to uh, download something new that would work for this perfectly well. As you can see, I was changing windows quite a lot because when you're doing floor plan, just some things doesn't work. And um, I'm also going to make a few changes uh, later on. So stay put for that. And as you can see, I used uh, spa day lights and I rotated them uh, so we kind of get this neon edge around the building and I think it looks super cute. I was really struggling a lot with that. Uh, I spent, I don't know how much time <laughs> on just doing those lights, but those were such an important feature for me and I really, really want to make it count, you know, I want to make this build count. And also, uh, you can see that I use this spaceship. Um, I honestly, I'm not entirely sure that we got it in Strangerville or in base game. Um, I'm just hoping that aliens are not going to spawn, but <laughs> I don't think so because, uh, as you can see, this is tucked. Uh, to the roof and I don't think that aliens can actually enter or get out uh, <laughs> So let's hope for the best because also that spaceship Really adds to the whole vibe of this also you can see a dinosaur in here and all of the other signs that I was able to find in the game, all of the signs that I use outside are uh, from the game, so there is no custom content. The only custom content for this uh, exterior is from Harry Spoon's collection. So even if you don't have custom content uh, or you cannot use custom content or anything, you can still download this and you will get the most of this, this exterior. Um, you are going to need to um, replace the windows and good luck with that, <laughs> by the way, you guys, because I was 
looking for the right windows for a long, long time. I really tried many windows and these ones were just the best. Um, I would probably prefer them to be metal, not wooden. Um, that would fit the vibe even more, but I still think they're looking perfect and I think that, that you can definitely see that this is a true American 50s diner. Um, it's hard to say is it like 50s or 60s because they, they look quite similar, but you know, I was thinking 50s, 60s kind of vibe. And the first diner ever made in America uh, actually was built at the end of 19th century. Um, and then it became popular again at 30s, 1930s. Um, and in 1930s, they gained this kind of cool uh, modern look, like modern, of course, for that time, um, inspired by space and pink flamingos and everything, everything else. So I really wanted to give this interior uh, spaceship vibe. <laughs> um, so you are going to see a lot of details like that on this build. Um, also, you can see that I combine different lights to get that neon kind of vibe. And I don't know, did you know that or not, but you can change the color of every single light in the house. So I combined um, a few colors uh, of the lights. Mm, I think it was basically red and turquoise and white and I believe yellow. So with, with the different lights, I gained this kind of look, I would say. And I'm really hoping that you like this uh, curved part, how would I call it, on oh, my circle part, because that's a drive-in. Uh, of course, it's not working, it's not functional, we don't have drive-ins in The Sims. But I thought it's such a cool feature and it looks a little bit more interesting rather than just the basic shape. And also I, I, I saw some things like that on Pinterest, so I really wanted to add that uh, into my creation as well. And as you can see, I also added some details from spa, spa Day onto the roof because I really wanted to make it feel a little bit more brighter on the roof because it looked very dark when you look at the rest of the build. I, I just thought I need to put something on the roof. And here we are in the interior and this beautiful kitchen is, as I said before, from Shirley Sims. And I used, I believe, her couches and some of the chairs and some other chairs from Linzu. And also you are going to notice that I used a lot of gallery art. So Everything that you're going to see on the walls is available for free. Uh, I just downloaded from the gallery and it's CC free art. I was really taking care of having a CC free art. Um, so that, that really made this build even more interesting i would say it like that and you're going to see that my camera today is going to be a little bit hectic and that's because that i usually pre-made everything and then i record it if you can understand that so i make a room and then i record it all over again and this time <laughs> i tried to do something similar but uh, this space had so much art and so much decorations on the wall that I just forgot some things and then I was moving uh, back and forth basically all of the time. 
But yeah, I, as I said, we have two floors uh, in here. First floor is a diner, obviously, and a bar, because I added a bar as well. And I added like a dance floor and also I added like a karaoke machine. So uh, you are not going to see in this video a karaoke machine because I remember that after I finished recording. So I edit afterwards, but uh, in your tray file you are going to be able to find it and on the second floor we have like a gaming area um, I added two two tables uh, so you can eat up upstairs with your friend uh, but I added some things like foosball and uh, dartboard and also I added um, the gaming console I, I think <laughs> I'm not sure what's the right word for it but the game that we have um, that was typically uh, typical in that era and um, that's basically it for this build you guys I'm going to leave you with this music uh, music amazing music that goes perfectly with this diner and honestly I want to enjoy it too so I'm going to finish my voiceover in here because I mostly said anything everything anyways so I'm sending you a lot a lot of kisses and I just cannot wait to see you again very very soon bye bye you guys